Good evening, my name is Amanda Marks and welcome to Who Are You Calling Crafty Live. Tonight, I am going to show you how to make digis or digital stamps. I am in the process of creating more digis for my digital shop and going through and revamping the whole entire thing. So, because I didn't get to work on them at all today and I'm... Digi what? <laughs> yes, um... I'm going through and I'm going to work on that this evening. If you see me stall a stop a lot, or actually you're not going to see me at all because I'm going to show you all my screen. Um, stopping asking questions. I If you're watching me live, there is a chat. So we go through and um, I chat with the people. I promise I'm not talking to myself, even though it looks like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> it it's one of those things <laughs> but I'm gonna go through I'm gonna open up my computer I am on a Mac um, so if you don't recognize some of this stuff it's because I am on an iMac so let me turn it over hopefully this won't crash I I have a ton of stuff running on my computer so <laughs> alright here is my chat I do talk to myself I talk to myself a lot <laughs> Um, here is my desktop, as you can see. My backdrop is the Great Smoky Mountains. There, look, this is what I see. You stream. Um, I don't know when to quit programs, that's right. I have a ton of stuff open. You never know. <laughs> so here we have, this is a template I created for my new papers and it's 12 by 12 I go through uh, I cut everything out one inch and they're stripes they have guides <laughs> I quit the programs when I go to bed at night fab so and then I shrink everything down to one inch by one inch and put all the new papers in there I really like how that turned out uh, also has the watermark on there what I'm going to show you, I do have a tablet. Um, I have a Wacom tablet, which I love. Uh, where did I put that? Go here so I can find it. All right. Fab's going to have a heart attack when he sees how I do this. I love my tablet. My tablet it's my it makes doing this so much easier I'm just rotating this counterclockwise uh, just so I can see what I'm doing I am going to take the elf that I created here I'm gonna um, command C it's control C if you have a, a PC open up a new one here Let's see, this is going to be my elf. I, d I do all my digis in inches because I can never remember the pixel format, and they're all 7x7. Seven seven. Control V, or Command V. I just plop them in there and go to layers, and that's shift Command N, I never remember that, so I always do, I always do that. <laughs> um, now my mouse is dying, so I am going to probably have to switch over to the tablet here. And the reason why I do the head, and I'm going to change my colors here, just black, back to black and white. There we go. Perfect pen size. As you can see, I was working on digi papers with uh, those are feet. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that hard. The transition, there's a learning curve about two weeks, but once I switched over, it's pretty much the same. I mean, the biggest thing is getting used to is finding is the X button. <laughs> It's on the other side. That was the one thing that always 
that I always had problem. And it's funny because now I go to, I go to a PC and it's like, oh, where is it? I always use number five for my brush stroke. And it, for me, a five is the perfect stroke to create. As you can see, I'm just tracing over these lines. This is a drawing that I scanned in that I did, and I'll show you the original here so you guys don't think that I'm... This is a drawing that I scanned in. I did it in pen and paper. I am not that good of a tablet user to go through and just freehand on a tablet. I'm, I'm still... <clears throat> And the reason why I do that, just so you can see, afterwards, that's what's going to be left. And that way, I can go through. Yeah, practice, practice, practice. I've been practicing. And I'm glad you guys can't see my face right now, because I, when I do this, I have to... Ooh. Okay. What I did there was I was on the wrong layer. So I have to make sure that the blue layer is highlighted. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. I've done that. I've drawn a whole entire project almost on the blue layer or on the original layer and didn't realize it until it was essentially too late and had to redraw everything. <laughs> I usually check. I do cheat on my eyes, and I don't know if this is necessarily cheating, but I do cheat on my eyes. I draw circles. This is my anal retentive side coming in, because this, my circles have to be perfect. And I know that if I do it this way, my circles will be absolutely perfect. And the other nice thing is that you can do a duplicate layer of that shape, bring it over, bring your guides down so they're exactly the same width. You got that there. Come over here, start another one, exit out. It's not too perfect. It's when I draw circles, even when I always merge the layers of the eyes and I put what eye it is. So when I look over on the side, I know what I'm doing. The reason why I do this, and even when I freehand draw and I draw circles, I still have a tendency to grab my templates. For some reason, circles to me should be circle. And that's how I want these. I want them, I want them circle. I, if I wanted them drawn freehand, I would, I would have drawn them freehand. I just, I prefer the circle. And here we go. We got a couple. <clears throat> a couple eyes there. It's just a personal preference, fam. And that didn't work. Come on. Control Shift N. There we go. Eyebrow. Nice thing with when you're doing stuff like this is that you can take a couple of shortcuts here. There's one eyebrow, duplicate, layer, copy, V, command T for transform, 
and flip horizontally. Now my eyebrows are perfect, fab, so <laughs> they're exactly the same. And that's technically hand-drawn because I drew that. <laughs> Um, I've really been having fun. I, I have gotten away from drawing digis um, and just doing digis and I have had so much fun this week focusing on the digi shop, creating digis creating papers, redoing redoing stuff for the digi shop and really focusing on it. I am currently not on any design teams right now and that's by choice. Um, they were getting to be too much for me. Uh, I found myself more of an obligation and not having fun with it. It was more of a it was more of a chore uh, and a burden and I just wasn't enjoying it anymore and I enjoyed it for a while it was just getting old yeah and that's in Jeff uh, Jeff's like he's like you're not having fun with it he's like you're really not he's and he was right. I wasn't having fun with it. I've had more fun designing these digis. Oh my gosh. I, I, I've i woken up every single morning with a new idea for digis. And I just can't produce them fast enough. They're literally, you should... I have a sketchbook. A very... A very large sketchbook. <laughs> um, I th I don't know if it was because it could have been Vedette that I was doing too many at once. Um, and I'm a I'm a pretty creative person. I can create a lot of stuff. But when I'm told I have to create something with something that's when I can't create stuff. That's when I have a problem like, oh, I can't do this anymore. And the products I were, was using were fun, but I just, I was just tired. I wanted to do other things. And, you know, I, I sort of missed just being and yeah, I was doing other things and stuff and but it, it it was just it was getting to be burdensome and I wasn't having fun with it and it showed. Um I was doing more projects on my show and stuff because I was procrastinating and that's how I know I'm not I'm I'm tired of something is when I start to procrastinate. And yeah, I finished The Witch. She turned out cool. Um, very few people thought she was cool, um, which on that blog hop I did, but all personal preference, but you know. And hey, Don, I'm sorry I didn't even see you come in. But I'm glad I finished her. I haven't put her up. I haven't put her on my Etsy store. Night fam. I know you just you just can't handle my computer with all the stuff that's running. I know. <laughs> um yeah, I really liked her too. I liked how she turned out. And that's why I haven't put her on my Etsy store because I think I actually want to keep her. This is um this is going to be my new elf for the digi shop. He's 
probably going to be released in December. He was awfully cute. I'm really excited. I am getting a printer tomorrow, so I will have a printer. <laughs> so, and actually start using some of my digis again because I'll have a printer. <laughs> yeah, he turned out really cute. Yeah, I have, I was going to run and get it today. But Jeff went and helped with Jillian's field trip. They did a field trip to the station. So, of course, since it was Daddy's place of work, um, Jillian fully expected to see Daddy there. So <laughs> Jeff went to work at, like, 10 o'clock this morning <laughs> or, like, you know, he was gone by 11 type of thing. Um, so he could help with the field trip and stuff. Nah, he helped with the field trip. And the first thing that Jillian said when she got home from school was, I saw daddy. So he made her day. But he's been doing all shows, so... He's been going in at, like, 2. So. Yeah, I'm really excited with how he's turning out. Um, yeah, he's going to be cute. So the other one I'm, I have here is I have a reindeer. Um, the other nice thing about... Oh, I better save the elf. I've had Photoshop issues. Save. Oh, I don't want the PDF. I want to Photoshop and desktop. Everything I do goes to my desktop first. <laughs> and then I file it away. Once I've catalog cataloged it and everything and I've put it in something it gets put in a folder and then once it's been created and everything then it gets moved to the file the file I have for the DigiShop let me show you here okay this is my digital stamp file this is digital papers, those are all the papers I've created, dots and stripes and polka dots and everything. Those are all the papers, except for the Easter papers because I managed to take them off of here somehow. Um, daisies and bunnies and frogs, and some of them aren't cataloged very well. Um, owls, and then I have them broken down to colors, and then logos. I mean, I... This is probably the most organized section on my computer right now, is this section. And it's just so I can find everything. Um, I have them broken up to into Photoshop files and everything. So they're pretty organized. If Over here... Hi, Ustream. <laughs> so this, these are just random... PSD files right now. This is for the Chevron paper. Baby feet can go in there because I just finished you. This is a screenshot I took earlier. Um, Chevron paper. The reason why these Chevron papers aren't in here, aren't in that paper pack, is because they have to go back into the paper packs that they were originally in. Um, I can show you this. This is that template that I showed y'all. This is what it looks like once it's been completed. Like I said, it's 12 by 12. These are about one inch. So when you have patterns and stuff like that, it is a little hard to see them, but that's why I 
have it all broken up over here and it's the one inch these are one inch and I think that gives a good feeling of what the paper looks like um, this is the new this right here is the new logo to the digi shop so I did go through I read you the logo and just so you can see that's how I sign my name so yes that is you know so that does look like my signature so it's just happens to be a font of an A that I thought was pretty darn close um, so I went through and I used to I go back and forth between that A and the round A but I have signed official stuff like that before so I thought that would be pretty cool um, let's see here oh I know what I can show y'all Open baby feet I just finished those hippie that's not the one I wanted to show y'all I wanted to show you the scalp ones so I went through and I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull these these ones are my um, new scout stamps that I went through and did I drew that I did I did her the same way I did the elf with a drawing that I scanned I then went through and yes she is supposedly she's in a scouting uniform she's not in a daisy uniform she's in a scouting uniform daisy scouts the word is copyrighted and everything so I have to say scout she's just a scout um, I didn't use any of the logos yeah the blues pretty close um, but she is holding a a flower that is sort of looks like a daisy <laughs> And of course, she has the pink shoots, which are the exact same color as Jillian's pink airwalks, and they look just like that. This looks like Jillian's new hairstyle with the headband and everything, so it it does look like Jillian. Um, I do have a little boy that I haven't finished yet. Let's see if I can find him. Uh, let's see. You would think that this would be easier to find. <laughs> Scouts, here they are. Okay. And as you can see, image rotation, counterclockwise. So here's the Boy Scout. Here's the Girl Scout, my little Scouts. I haven't drawn him yet. I had to go through and try to find a boy scout what they look like because I couldn't remember the uniforms because the last time I seen a boy scout uniform my brother was you know it was a while ago so but that's what she looked like and as you can see the nice thing is when you're doing stuff like this you can modify it like I made some oopses in here and the hands and stuff and she made some oopses over here but you can fix that with that um, so I don't want to save that. but she I save it as a PNG file and then I exit out of the Photoshop I keep all the layers like this is a PSD file this this will support all the layers I have I save this file I save it as a PNG file so this is a this is the PNG file. I don't I make sure that it's not separate so it merges down and it's flat. I exit out of everything. I open back up this file and then I color it in is how I do it. It's easier I found it's easier to do that than to 
go through, do it and do a PSD file because everything's separate. So if you were to, and I can show you this. Um, no, actually I can't because it's not really. Well, let's say I added color to the face. And let's just pick a color here. If I did this, I added it to the face like that. Well, if I had any gaping holes, or if I had any layers, or did that, it wouldn't show up. I mean, it would, like, if I did the hair separate, and that wasn't, let's see, I'm trying to think, I don't have anything here that I can show you that, eh. but if I did this on a separate layer, it's only, here it looks complete, but it's not complete if I did these, if I did the hair or the hat on a separate layer. Like, let's say, let's add a new layer here. And maybe I can explain it here a little better. Okay. And this is just to show y'all what I mean. Okay. This right here looks to be complete. And I didn't do that on the correct layer. Okay. You have that little, that little space right there. It looks to be complete. But if I were to go through and add color right here, because it's opened, that's what's going to happen. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you have a flat file to color everything with, because otherwise that will happen. And that's a pretty was a pretty bad drawing of that. So yeah, it it was one of those things like no, I should really show it opposed to trying to explain it. All of my papers and. I can hear the rain coming down, so if I start to break up, I'm sorry. I'm going to actually come back up here. Um, all of my papers that I design are 12 by 12. And the reason why I do everything um, 7, you know, 7 by 7, I found, and this is, I found that to be a good size to put into blogger and let's see here uh, there we go so I have blogger open here I don't do it in pages I do it in post so here we have and I'm just gonna I got a lot of crap open wow I got a lot of crap open um, and close Twitter. <laughs> I usually don't have that much stuff open. But I do it as post opposed to doing it as actual pages. Blogger doesn't support pages. So I do it as post. And there are ways to go through and make sure that you can take all the blogger stuff off. Now, if you were to visit my DigiShop, this is what you would see right now. And I'm still working on it, so there's a lot. I know this page is almost done. This is what the new digital papers page looks like. It has the geometric patterns, dot, baby, Christmas, Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, patriotic papers, I also found that I was sort of copying out and I would like stop at like nine sheets. Well, you can't really break up nine sheets of paper. And if you click on it, you can see it big. And that's one of the reasons why I kept it in Blogger. I was gonna switch it to WordPress. I kept it in Blogger because of this feature. 
this is the 12 by 12. This is what I upload to to Blogger. I upload the full image. So anyone who clicks on one of the digital papers will see the 12 by 12. It'll be 100%. So they can look at it, they can see, oh, well she has some hand-drawn lines here. and So I'm really liking this. And these are the, th if you're wondering what are the new papers, <laughs> it's the top three. Um, I'm still working on the layout. And let's see, dot paper. The dots are all new. Well, this the pastel dots were semi-new. But these ones, the secondary colors and the primary colors are new. And I really like how they turned out. I wanted really bright, bright colors for these. And those are the pastels. I added the bigger dots. and then the secondary color dots. The nice thing is I also went through and I matched the dots because I'm insane. All the colored dot papers matches the new chevron papers that I did. These are This blue matches the dots, this orange matches the dots, so I, I've really taken the time to go through and try to match all the colors so all the papers can be used together. So It's been a long, long process. <laughs> so, and I still have a ton more to do because I, oh, I have to go through and redo. No, I didn't want the papers. I wanted the ducks, or I guess any of them. But I have to go through and re-logo all of these and all of these with the new logo and change everything out. So I have a lot of work ahead of me still. So, but I think it'll be worth it. I'm hoping it will be worth it. The other thing I wanted to show, and because they're not they're not up yet. Um, they're not live. They're built, but they're not live. Is I wanted these. This is what the new, the new logos look like. The Frankenstein, the mummy. This is what they look like. They're, this particular link is going to be. Yeah, they're they're not. And then if you click on it. I just have to get the little add to cart things done. So I have been working on them <laughs> quite a bit. But I really, this new Halloween set and they, they're they on the Facebook page. I uploaded them as soon as they were done. I am in love with these. 